Good morning, this is Brian Rowley, mousehelp at roselle.com, where we provide compassionate care to people with computers. This morning we're going to go over how to add a clickable image to an email signature. In this version we're going to talk about Gmail exclusively. I will be recording other videos for Outlook and Yahoo email. So let's just get started, shall we? If you scroll down on that message, you see this is the goal. We're going to have, by the end of this, we will have an image and an email signature that, when clicked, will take you directly to the Walk website in question. All right, so back to our beginnings here. What we need to do is first put this window in a view that makes it crystal clear what I'm doing so you don't miss anything. So let me get that straightened out for you here, like this and this. All right, so with that, let's do this. Okay. I actually have behind the scenes here the steps we're going to follow. We're going to find a web page that has the image we're going to use for this purpose. We're going to copy that image link. It actually says copy image address. You'll see that in a moment. We're going to paste that URL into the signature in Gmail and then we're going to modify it. We're going to adjust the size and the eventual target will be the walk website. So watch this if you need to pause. If you need to hit the pause button down here and take some notes, please do. But we're going to move right along with this all right, so step number one was to get to the appropriate website with an image on it. I like this image. It's nice and clean. So I'm going to, and this is here at, so you may want to take that down as well. Uh, let me just copy that and I'll put it in the notes here for you. So that is where I'm going to go to get this image. So now it says second step is to copy the image. I guess I should say we need to right click on that. So let's do that. Right click and choose copy. Image address. So I'm going to right click here. I'm going to copy the image address, which I'm going to use over here in my Gmail account. So way to set up your SIG file with that image is to go here under settings and down here to settings and when it loads if you scroll down the page you'll see about halfway down here is that's the end result so what I need to do now is click on if that image isn't there you need to paste it in there so this is where you insert your image and here's where you put the URL for the image you want to have in there and there it is. And then the next step was to adjust the size because for my needs that's a little large. So I'm going to scroll down some more here. If I click on the image once I get this adjustment here. I can make it tiny, a little larger, a little larger and overwhelming. So we're going to go with medium here and if I click the image again what I want to do now is to change the link to the image. So you click the little link tool here and I think this should work. Let me take a look. This is the walk page and this is the URL we want so I'm going to copy that, take it back over here and paste it there. When I say OK, what I want to know now is that's, I'm thinking that's where we're going to go and it's easy enough to test so even if it didn't work the first time around, you know the steps now, and the main thing is make sure you scroll down to the bottom and save changes, otherwise nothing changed. So it's an easy enough test to do. We can send an email to someone, and if I click that, let's see if it's going to tell me where it's going. It is not. There's where it will go. Let's see what happens. And test the link. Okay, 
So once I send that, and then if I want to test it, just go back here to sent mail, pick that up there. If I click it, that didn't help. <laughs> okay, great. All right, so we left out one step, and I'll go back and show you what that step is from here. So back to settings. Here's what we really need to do. We need to select the image like this and then click the link button there. Let's try it again. That's my signature. There it is. Where it says link, go to link, I want to change that. And make sure you select, see that little uh, forward slash? that's in there, you need to make sure you select that because otherwise it'll mess up your step, which is to paste in. Remember where we came from here? And we went back here and we're going to paste in that web address. Now when I say OK, don't forget to scroll down, save changes. And now when I send an email, Send. I can go right here and view your message. Okay. So if I click that, magic. All right. We're finally at the right place. And of course, we had a little extra something that was added when I was playing around in there. So easy enough to go modify that. You can go back into your settings, scroll down to here, and that was not really what I wanted there. So now I'm better off. I've ju just got the image. I'm going to save my changes. Compose one last test. And away we go. And I view my message. Check it there. And yes. Okay, so that's how you accomplish the answer to this question. This is how you add the WT EA, clickable image to your email signature in Gmail, seven minutes and 30 seconds later, even with mistakes. So that's it for how to add a clickable image. And you could be using any image you'd like for your clickable image in Gmail. And this is Brian Rowley, mousehelp at roselle.com, signing off. If you want to find me, it's easy enough to do. Just go to mousehelp.com, my phone number contact information, you can make an appointment with me, whatever you need to do. Brian Rowley, mousehelp at roselle.com.